There he is. First fish of the day, folks. Golly, what a crappie. This is a big one right here. I mean a big one. Y'all look here. That's what we're talking about right there. Big, giant crappie. Let's go ahead and net that fish. That's a big, big fish right there. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine. That's what we're talking about right there. Big, giant crappie. That's a big black crappie right there, probably around, I'm going to say 16 inches long. Good fish. That fish hit a, hit a uh, underspin, y'all excuse me. Right on the edge of a drop right here in about five foot of water. Uh, let's release this fish, then we'll talk about it. Let's let him go. Good fish right there. Doggone good. Woo. I'm talking about. Woo. All right, folks. That was a good fish right there. That was a big crappie. When he hit this bait, it was thump. No doubt about it. Just like I've said it many times before. Well, it's just like snapping your fingers. Pop. And that it was no doubt about it. Now, I'm using a finesse underspin. That's a 132nd of an ounce pink head with a crappie magnet on the back of it. That's a monkey milk color right there. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you something. When fish are scattered, well, this is my number one bait. Right now, they're very scattered. The lake level is very low. For this time of the year and it's actually messing up crappie fishing just a little bit um, i'm having the, the fish a little bit deeper slower and the fish seem to be well scattered out but they are a few fish on this drop that i'm fishing right now uh the drop is from two feet of water down to about six and then it abruptly drops like this just uh not a gentle drop it's pretty quick now these fish are on this drop off but they're going to be scattered and there's like i said there's no bait better than an underspin for scattered crappie usually when i find a pattern like this i'm catching big fish currently the surface temperature is at 60 degrees let's see if we can catch them now before we do the tackle that I like to use now this is a six foot ten light power rod sow belly rod limber as it can be with eight pound braid 2000 size dial with spinning reel it's actually a Johnny Morris spinning reel with a six two and one gear ratio and this is six pound test floor carbon line and that connection is a double uni knot my favorite connection right here is a palomar knot onto this floor carbon very strong knot okay let's get back in here and see if there's some more cropping i'm pretty sure if there's not this is going to be basically the pattern that i'm going to work with today i count of the water levels being so low let's catch one Talking about it, don't get the job done. Okay, let's make us a cast right here. I have a marker buoy right in front of me. <clears throat> now I'm in six feet of water. That marker buoy is in six feet of water too. So I've got a line to go by right here. Now I'm in a perfect line with that marker that I throwed up above us. It's in six foot, I'm in six foot here. So I'm right where the, the brake line is, folks. I let it hit the bottom. Or that's what I did when I caught that fish. Pick the rod up and then just barely slow roll that underspin. That fish was probably, oh, I'm guessing anywhere from 
18 inches to two feet off the bottom. He was close close to the bottom. Now I love these finesse under spins because this spin, as it's dropping, that blade's moving. It's spinning. It's the best one of all underspins in my opinion. Because of that, it, it's it's all that blade's always working, folks. Like right there, I'm gonna let it fall. That blade's turning. I guarantee you, it's turning. That's what makes this underspin very effective. And the reason why I'm gonna show y'all real quick why I like this one. Do you see the, the the arm right here that's holding this swivel? Well. This particular underspin is built with a longer arm than most. And you can see that the, the blade's going to spin without hitting the body of whatever bait that you, that you select to put on the back of these. And uh, my two favorite is a crappie magnet or a, uh, y'all excuse me, or the Z-Man baits. Little Z-Man baits, like the Baby Baller Z and the Shad Fry Z. Those two, uh, when it comes to, um, <clears throat> I can't talk because I'm I'm focusing. <laughs> that was an awful big crappie, folks. That was a giant. That was a big slab. But those are my three favorite, and here they are. I'm gonna say it now. I can think a crappie magnet on the back of this bait a baby baller z which is made by z-man or the shad fry z that's made by z-man those are my three favorites to put on the back of this bait they all work exceptionally well all right let's slow roll another crappie up right here there he is golly that fish thumped it Man, they don't play. I've said it once. I've said it a hundred thousand times. When they hit an underspan, they hit it. Good fish right there. In seven feet of water, folks. Let's look at that. Seven feet. They're laying off out in here a little bit deeper. Golly, that's a good fish, though. Another giant. This one right here is not not quite as big as the first one. Uh, but he's close to being as big. He's probably two inches shy of the first one. Let's see what he measures. I should have. I should have measured that first one, but I'm a pretty good guesser being a carpenter. Yeah, that one's 13, right at 13 inches. That other one was every bit of 15 and a half. I'm gonna say 15 and a half. Well, let's let that fish go. It's a good crappie. Get on back. You know, an underspin which I've mentioned a lot of times, is a very, very easy, easy bait to fish. All you do is once you find out how deep the crappie are, we know the crappie are anywhere from five to seven feet deep, folks. We know that. Once you find that out, then all you have to do is make that cast. I'm gonna let it fall about five, six, feet deep about anywhere from five to six seconds pick that rod tip up and just slow roll it back keeping it at that depth you don't have to do anything fancy is what i'm getting at just a slow roll that blade that's on that bait is doing everything that it needs to to get the bite There he is. Golly. Another mule. 
a northern folks they boy this one's so big you can't oh my I want y'all to look right here now this is a good one we got to net this one I hope he's hooked that's a big female I mean a big female let's get her net right here that, oh, golly, we'll measure this, and this one's way over, way over two pounds. I'm going to tell y'all something. That right there is a monster crappie right there. As far as the length, could be about the same length as the first one I caught. But this fish is a lot heavier. It's just a huge female. We'll measure her. All right, folks. That's the kind of fish right there that most people would mount. No doubt. That is a huge, huge, huge crappie. I mean, look how thick. Mm. This fish is <laughs> pushing probably three pounds, I imagine. Uh, healthy fish. Let's go ahead and measure her and get her back. We don't want to. We don't want to kill her. No way. She's full of eggs. That was a blessing. All right, she's 15. What is that? 15 and a quarter. 15 and a quarter. Okay, that other fish was probably that. But this fish right here, of course, is a lot heavier. <laughs> Let's let her go. We done all that pretty quick. We're gonna make doggone sure she's in good shape. Oh, there she goes. She's gone. You know, that was a trophy crappie, no doubt. Uh, there's no way I would wanna mount that fish right there. I have caught them bigger. A lot quite a bit bigger but as far as girth that was a girthiest crappie I've caught years as far as thick and that's where the weight is on these Tennessee River fish it is the, the thickness the girth I tell you what when that fish hit they wouldn't no doubt about it and, and the bite I'm gonna repeat it again folks it's just like snapping your fingers that's what it feels like just well that's better Clarence used to eat them boogers every day Clarence eat them boogers hey 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 boy boy I'm not getting many bites but when I get a bite it's a big one and that's the power of an underspin that's what it'll do for you there he is. There's another fish right there, folks. Good cropping. My, my, my. They. Whoa. Oh, Clarence can't do this because he's got too many nose hairs. <laughs> Let's net him right here, folks. That's a big fish right there. Big crappie. Okay. And that fish thumped it. Talking about. Now the, ooh, uh, quit, quit. That's enough. Now that orange head is getting more bites. I started off with a pink on that first fish and they just wouldn't that, that, that color right there will get them orange and then the natural on the back of it folks for some reason they're eating that up that's a big crappie right there real thick probably about 13 inches let's see what he is yep close to 13 inches i tell you that first fish i caught was a big crappie i forgot about my Scales being in here. 
my measurer, I'd still see that fish. Or I would have measured that first one, but it was a big one. Wow. You know, folks, the truth is, I get a lot of questions. Richard, did, would you rather catch big crappie or, or just medium size or little ones? I mean, um, is it more important to you to catch big crappie? Well, the fact of the matter is no. Um, you can't always catch big crappie. In fact, some of our lakes and rivers don't produce big crappie. The main thing about crappie fishing to me is being able to figure out the fish to at least catch a few. And there's no doubt in my mind that an underspend is the type of a bait that will catch the bigger fish if they're available. Okay, I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Oh, by the way, thank y'all very much for buying Richard Gene the Fishing Machine merchandise, hats, hoodies, all that stuff. I appreciate it, folks. And all the great comments, I read them all. I read them all. I get tickled with a lot of them, too. Y'all were very special, and I love each and every one of y'all. Hey. I like to went down right then. Hey, that a girl can keep up. Hey, to remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.